In this video, I'm going to show you how you can map your Android games which don't support gamepads to the gamepad with a tin uh, with a key mapper called Tin Core. Um, this uh, mapper can be got on the App Store for free and it's one of the best ones out there because it supports a number of really advanced settings and it's pretty easy to use also. So to start up we have Tin Core installed already and I'm gonna just load it up. So the first thing you see when you load up Tin Core is this menu over here in a box. And what you want to do is the the very first thing you have to do in Tin Core is you go to the settings menu right over here. Once you click the settings menu you'll see an option called open mapper sequence. Uh, you probably can't read it from here but open mapper sequence basically means that anytime you're playing your game you want to open this uh, mapper on the game so you could uh, map your keys to the game keys the ones you see on screen and in my case I've set it up uh, as a pretty simple sequence a sequence basically means that if I push thumb left thumb right thumb left if I do the sequence this mapper will open up anytime in, I'm in a game or a program that I want to map to my keys so once I've set that up over here, I can go ahead and check mark it. And it's done. Tin Core is going to be up there in the menu. So for uh, this demo, I'm going to show you, let's see, uh, Call of Duty Strike Team. Now, on the Android, uh, on, on the Android pr platform, this game is not playable with the controller yet. So I've mapped it to my keys using Tin Core, and I'm going to show you a demo of that. So this is the game running and you see Tin Core automatically loads when the game starts. It automatically remembers the settings. And let's go ahead in here. So as you can see, these are the on-screen keys. This is the shoot button. There is a movement stick over here, crouch and all that stuff. So in order to map it, now the first thing I would do, I would start up the sequence to open my mapper. So one, two, three. Okay, so there you go. Now my mapper is open. So suppose I want to map my trigger button, which is over here, to this key over here. All I need to do is press the trigger button. And you're going to see a blinking key. So in this case, I see it right here. See that? It's blinking right there. When I, when I push this button, it's right there. So all I need to do is drag that key and put it over there. So every time I push this key, it's gonna it's mapped. I can shoot. And the same goes for the movement stick. So this is my movement stick, and you see it's already mapped over there. All I have to do is drag the circle and put it where the movement area is. So it's already there because it's mapped. The same goes for the other keys. I have my uh, A keys, my X key for interaction, and my zoom key, which I have mapped over here. So once I'm done, I just tap on the screen, I click OK. So I'm good to go now. See, as you can see, it works really well. Um, you won't have any issues in most games. I have all my keys mapped here. Let's see if we can shoot somebody. So all the keys are working because I have mapped pretty much everything with my squad keys. Yeah, so this is a pretty easy program if you wanna if you have a game controller and you wanna map it. And I hope you like the video. Thank you for watching.